Let's now take you to the premiere of James Abinibi's latest project, Mentally. The star-studded event was exciting to say the least, as comedians, singers and fellow directors stepped out to show their support. Enjoy. It was a star-studded affair at the premiere of Mentally, as a bevy of stars, including ace comedian Ali Baba, Nollywood filmmakers Tokwe Alake and Femi Adisa, as well as singer The Genie, joined the cast and crew for the first exclusive viewing. The excitement in the air is infectious as fans rub shoulders with movie buffs and celebrities hoping to get selfies. The movie juxtaposes present-day Lagos with Mukunu, an uncivilized territory where Aki, the lead character played by comic actor Frank Donga, is forced to embrace a primitive lifestyle. It is Donga's second lead role in a movie and the first lead as a comic character. However, it is not all fun and jokes as issues such as drug abuse and unemployment are addressed. When I first got the script from the director, uh, popularly known as Abinibi, I was a bit surprised initially because what I thought wasn't what it turned out to be. But trust me, as soon as I got to the end of the story and I saw the plot twist, I was like, no way, I'm doing this. I am doing this. Look, the epic look of Mentally is nothing like you expect. It is not an epic film in that regard. You need to see the end of the movie to realize what all that um, almost leaf-wearing, half-naked, savage-looking people are in the movie. It has nothing to do with the movie. Oh. Well, check out ha what happens at the end. You are not going to believe it. By just one careless action, this movie came into being. Instagram sensations Woli Arole and Ashiri, who have built a brand with their comedy skits online, co-starred in the movie for the first time. Peace be unto you, sir. I have a message for you. Ah, maker. No! From someone bigger than the maker. The one that gave us everything we are enjoying free. So that's what Oh, God. It's just you doing what you love to do. And people keep calling you, come do this, come do that. So, for me, maybe he has transit. For <laughs> me, I'm not transit. Mentally also features Eric Didier as a city rascal whose actions lead Aki into the hands of the savages, played by Chris Okagwe, Jutukuka, Sukomi Obomolanle, and Rotimi Salami. I never knew it could be that difficult to speak an abstract language. <laughs> you know, I never knew it could be that difficult. But when I found myself at that very particular spot, it was like a point of no return for me. So I had to just. You know, so, but trust me, in all, finish, wonderful I'll job. Director Abinibi, a graphics designer turned filmmaker, sold his car to fund the film, which he hopes will help youths see the need to stay off drugs. All my previous works, I've always tried to um, approach issues that we encounter in the society. So I just wanted to approach the drug issue. Okay, I won't mention the particular drug. When you see the film and when the viewers see the film, they will understand. But I just want to just say, you know what, let me address one strong issue that everybody can relate with in the society. The best guy does it. Any personal story attached to this drug? No, but I have friends. <laughs> when I was in university, I had friends that, you know, did similar stuff. Not, it wasn't that bad, but, you know, I could relate to their personal experiences. So it was from there I got the idea to do something different. High Life singer Adekunle Gold, who couldn't attend the event, as well as actress Tony Abraham, are major attractions. Abraham plays a fictional character called Ewa, one who is in love with Donga's Aki. Mentally premieres in cinemas nationwide in a few days.